Hey everybody, I'm Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaud RV. 2023 units are rolling onto the lot, so I'm gonna keep doing videos for you to show off the new plans and the new features that are coming out in 2023. Right behind me, I have a J-Flight 224BH. This is a unit without a slide, but with bunks, very similar to the 264, and I'll point out those differences. But before I get started, let me show off my three top favorite changes in 2023 over 2022. Number one, the door height is 72 inches instead of 68 inches. Number two, standard in 2023 are these nice Lippert solid steps. And number three, we now have a 0.04 thickness solid metal front cap on this. Nice aerodynamic, smooth, obviously. It's a very different look if you look at this unit compared to the other J flights that have corrugated aluminum on the front. Now we have a nice, smooth, aerodynamic, curved front cap to this. I like it. I also like that it's dark gray, too, a little bit more forgiving against those inevitable bug splatters and so on. So, hey, let's talk about this a minute. This is a 224. It's 27 feet long. It's lightweight. It's a little bit lighter weight than the 264. In fact, you can always look at a Jayco right inside the door or on the yellow data plate on the other side for these specs that I point out in these videos. It's 27 feet, one inch, and it's 4,618 pounds as it left the factory dry weight. So certainly any half ton truck can pull this, maybe even a large SUV. When in doubt, let us know. We'll look up your truck for you. But this is a little shorter, a little lighter weight than a 264, and yet you can still sleep the whole family comfortably. I'll talk more about that when we get inside. Uh, it's really humid today, and so we've got condensate dropping from the AC unit. That's what you're seeing here. And I had this up. That's why it's splattering a little bit. But we have nice pass-through storage here that goes all the way through to the other side. And that's a capital griddle. It's, it's a single burner uh, griddle that comes standard on all J flights in 2023 that have some kind of an outdoor kitchen assembly. So you're going to get that with it and I'll show that to you when we get around there. Two uh, propane bottles that switch over automatically. You have your battery tray behind here. We prep all these units for you so the propane's filled and your battery is installed right here. We wait until you take delivery to do that. Now we have a nice electric tongue jack that makes leveling front to back easy and hooking and unhooking super easy. It's got a light up here too, so it's a nice feature to have that. We have diamond plating in front. This carries over from 2022, so that really protects the front end of this uh, from rocks getting tossed up during travel. And this opposite side of our pass-through storage, nice clean storage area. All these have magnet catches on them here instead of the little plastic things that used to break so bad. Now coming down this side of the unit, always with a Jayco, there's going to be Goodyear tires, American made with a six year warranty. Always appreciate that when you combine that warranty with the two plus three warranty on every Jayco product. And finally, a roofing membrane that's warranted for at least 20 years makes for a really good warranty. Hot and cold outdoor shower right here. Your main water connection below that. And then up on top here is the tank flush valve. Um, I do a whole video series on quick tips, RV quick tips with Mike, and I cover best maintenance practices for your holding tanks, including what to do with and about this tank flush valve. This is gonna keep the inside of your black tank clean. Uh, last thing you do before you break camp and go home is put a hose up in there and let it run. It sprays out the inside of your black tank. However, our, our tank valve is labeled down here, so gray and black water holding tanks, appropriately co colored gray and black. That's your sink water, shower water, black water, uh, black handle is your toilet water. Low point drain, so when you're gonna sanitize your system, winterize it and so on, right there's where you're gonna open up this valve and close it. Coming around to the back, we have a full size Goodyear spare tire, detachable 30 amp power cord, so just give that a turn and pop it out. Now, if you're at the campsite, best practice is put that in and then thread this little collar on here. 
right up there and cinch it tight that way if kids riding their bikes over it or whatever they're not accidentally yanking this and pulling it and getting it unplugged and then your AC is not working so best practice is to secure that you have a six gallon direct spark ignition water heater here runs on either propane or electric There we go. There's a little spray port back here, a quick connect spray port like you see on some of the high-end fifth wheels. So you can, um, even though you don't have a sink, now this is a 2023 change in the outdoor kitchen. Um, a lot of people look at this and say, well, that's not an outdoor kitchen. There's no sink in there. Uh, there's no griddle or anything. So Jayco has gotten away from pulling this whole assembly out because when you're pulling it out, you're pulling plumbing fixtures and electrical and those kinds of things. Now you've got a drink refrigerator. Well, what about water? I've got that spray port over there that I can put a basin or whatever to wash out pans and so on instead of having plumbing that I'm pulling in and out. And this is now standard on units that have some kind of an outdoor kitchen assembly. This is a J port fitting right there and I put the platform here the griddles in a box up front you'll put the griddle right here and there's a propane quick connect under there so you can be cooking here have drinks here and you have storage in here for um, you know utensils and, and whatnot so that's change in 2023 um, and then moving on up into the happy side the fun side of the trailer I always call this the fun side this is where all the fun stuff happens we have an uh, LED light strip with our exterior mounted speakers i don't have the awning extended all the way so i can't really show off this pull down to pitch feature but carrying over from 2022 are these uh, solera awnings so i can pull this down to pitch this side same way on either side to pitch it either for rainfall or for more shade on one side of the uh, awning or the other fully automatic there's a switch inside that rolls it out rolls it in and out this is our furnace vent. This is our gravity fill for our freshwater tank. So uh, you simply put the hose in here or a big jug of water if you're out in the middle of nowhere to fill your fresh water tank. Best practice, just keep a few gallons in here during a trip to wash your hands, flush the toilet, and fill up the rest once you get closer to your destination if you won't have water at your campsite. Many do, most do. Most private campgrounds have full hookups, which is defined as water, electric, and sewer. If you have full hookups, don't worry about that. You're gonna have water plumbed to the whole unit when you hook up water on the other side. Electric and cable right here so that you can hang a television right here. It comes with a bracket, which I'll show you on the inside. So you can pop that TV in here, hook it up out here, great for tailgating and watching fall football games under the awning out here. So let's go inside and have a look at this 224BH on the inside. All right, if you're watching this video, you're probably shopping units with a bunkhouse, lightweight without a slide. In the J-Flight family, there are three options. This one, the 224, or the slightly larger 264 or 274. So let me point out a few differences as we move along before I get into the weeds on this one. The 264 is gonna have a sofa up here. This one doesn't. The 264 will still have double bunks like this, but the 264 is gonna have a tiny tub shower combo compared to this gigantic, ginormous step-in shower on this 224. Those are some notable differences. Also, we're two feet shorter here than the 264, and we're a little bit lighter weight. So, again, if you're shopping a lightweight, no-slide bunkhouse, this is one of three options you're probably looking at. So, again, we have queen bed up here for mom and dad with storage underneath. Nice storage compartment up here, and then behind that is your pass-through storage that you access from outside. Plywood bed base here, plywood under your feet, plywood in the roof, which is always true with Jayco. Have a little bit of storage for hanging shirts over here and shelves on the other side. Um, a lot of folks say, well, where's the closet? You don't get a closet on a small J flight. And very occasionally, depending on the floor plan, you'll get an actual closet. But on a small sub 30 foot trailer, 
closet storage is a premium. So at least you do have a place to hang some of the nicer shirts. You learn to fold a lot when you're an RV or even, I mean, I've got a big motor home now and I still learn how to fold a lot of clothes if we're on a long trip. So just keep that in mind. You do have a little bit of storage here. This unit was optioned with solar. So I have a 190 watt panel up on the roof and this is your charge controller. It's a little bit grumpy now because there's no battery to charge and it's looking for one. This is especially helpful if you have a 12 volt refrigerator, which we do on this unit. If you have a 12 volt refrigerator, that's running off your battery all the time. So if you're out, parked, turn the truck off, have no power, have no generator, this is really important. This is gonna send a trickle charge to your batteries which in turn keep your refrigerator happy. All right, now, dinette here, which converts into a bed. So not only can we sleep uh, the kids uh, in the bunks up front, this will drop into a nicely sized uh, sleeping surface as well and sleep one or two folks here. So two, four, so you can sleep six to eight people in this comfortably. Right across from the galley, now a change in 2023, a lot more of these, a lot more USB charging ports. You'll notice there's some here. You'll notice there's some right here behind the dinette. And you'll notice they're up in the bunk area as well. So lots of places to charge your gadgets. This is kind of the control center here. Your awning in and out, your water heater and water pump switches here, and you can check the levels of your holding tanks right above that. Now, Jayco, if you're listening, would love it if you labeled these, but these are in fact light switches. One of them's for the awning outside and the other one's for the lights inside here. You buy this from us, I bet you, we could be talked into using our label maker and label those for you. But anyway, that's what those are. Now we have a one piece uh, molded countertop, which I really love because there's no edge banding on this. It allows Jayco to do an undermount sink, and they're carried over this feature from 2022. Uh, now here's a little quick tip for you. That pink stuff is not pink lemonade that some kid dumped in there. It is in fact RV antifreeze. You'll see that in these units, even though it's coming in in the heat of August, it's already been winterized and we can look at that. Besides the fact that this sticker is telling me that, the pink, uh, the pink stuff is RV antifreeze, so I know it's been it's been winterized. This is in Modern Farmhouse, this color, kind of an off-white. Jayco always has solid maple cabinetry on the door fronts and drawer fronts. Pocket screwed and glued styles and all the cabinetry and the whole thing is screwed to the frame of the coach. The ball bearing drawer glides and their full extension drawer glides as well. So maximizing the space that you have available. This is a short little drawer because if it was any bigger, it would hit the P-trap back there. But you do get a little bit of drawer storage here. Kind of interesting, it's like, whoops. All right, but you do have a drawer. And uh, actually they added a drawer here, I believe from 2022. So at least you have three drawers instead of two. And that's where the trash can goes, I bet. It's gonna go somewhere. It's a logical place for it. Now, carrying over, we have a, a cute little microwave big enough to warm up those leftovers and make popcorn. This range hood is vented to the outside and it has a light and you have a three burner cooktop. This is easily removable for cleaning backlit controls on your little oven. Now, this is new for 2023. This is your panel where all your fuses and breakers are. Now this is a controller slash charger. That's important. This is what's charging your batteries. It's got an auto detect feature. So now, no matter what kind of batteries you install in this later, if you upgrade to lithium batteries, it's gonna detect that automatically before you would have had to up, upgrade this. Now this automatically detects what kind of batteries you have and charges them appropriately. Have a little storage right behind the dinette here. Nice uh, storage in here, top and bottom. And then I mentioned this 12 volt fridge. I'm a huge fan of these, mostly because they're bigger and because they're better. <laughs> okay, uh, two great features of a refrigerator. It's a compressor fridge. You turn this on, which I turned this on about an hour ago, 
it's already frosty in here, very cold. Whereas a gas absorption traditional RV fridge, you really need to turn them on the night before and maybe throw in a bag of ice to get them down to temp before you load it up with perishable items. Double bunks top and bottom, that means 600 pound weight capacity up here and 600 down. Again, we have USB charging ports up there, easy to charge those gadgets for the kids. There is a little bit of storage in here that's kind of tricky to get to. It's got a finger pull, lift that up. And there is some storage in there for those items you don't need to access as much. Maybe those muddy boots or extra blankets and that kind of stuff. Now let's check out, right here's our thermostat. It's a Dometic thermostat, works just like home. So uh, light that up, put your uh, desired temperature settings and it's gonna work just like your thermostat at home. Now I like this bathroom because it has a huge shower. The, uh, the 264 is gonna have a tub shower combo, big enough, but not this big. This is just enormous, so I'm six feet tall. There's a lot of room in here. I'm a fan of the regular shower curtains too, but um, they're in 2023, they're putting larger shower heads in the unit. Also of note, this is a one piece shower surround. There's no seam here. There's no seam here. Let me point this out. A lot of people look at this and say, hey, that's loose, something's wrong, it's gonna leak. No, this shower pan extends up to about right here. So water can't go down there and come back up. It's designed to be movable for movement and temperature changes and that. I wouldn't put a bead of caulk there. Some people do, but anyway, just FYI, you'll see that. But I like that it's a one piece shower surround. It's a foot flush toilet. Little basin sink here with a little bit of storage underneath. There's not a medicine cabinet here and I wish there was. Um, you know, you can put a medicine cabinet on there. You can take this mirror off and mount a medicine cabinet there or on either side. It's probably what I'd do if it were mine. Um, Jacob's looking to save a pound here and a buck there and that's one area that they did it, I guess. But um, I'd like to see a medicine cabinet there. But having said that, this is a pretty neat unit, 27 feet long not super heavy, can sleep the family comfortably. Um, if you've uh, waited through this video this long, first of all, thank you. Second of all, if you wouldn't mind clicking like and subscribe below, that way you'll be the first to know. When I post more videos like this, I try to throw in little tips as we go through these. So even if you're not shopping for this specific model, hopefully you'll learn a thing or two. That's what these are all about. Again, my name is Mike here at Vod RV. I appreciate you joining me. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Vod RV.